Okay, welcome to our quick Flickr tutorial. I'm just going to quickly show you how to sign up for Flickr, how to upload your photos, and then how to find our, our group page and then put your photos there as well too. So signing up is top left hand corner. Just click sign up. It'll take you to a Yahoo registration page. It's Yahoo because Yahoo owns Flickr, as I mentioned in the DC Connect lesson there. So just put in your name. I'm going to just change my name a little bit up there because I already have an account. So I can't really start the same one again. It's going to ask you for uh, a Yahoo name, so it's going to suggest creating one for you if you don't already have one. If you have one, you can put it in. If not, it's going to create one for you. And then put a password in. And then it does want a mobile number. Uh, so you can put something in there. I think it does require that. There's an optional one below, but uh, it does require you to put one up here. And then your birth date. I'm going to make something up so that doesn't look at me look make me look too old. Let's see, 1894. No, that's not that's not too cool. Uh, there. So put your mail, put your gender, and create account. I'm going to say not now. If you want, you can choose the save password if you get that option. And now it's going to tell me congratulations. Let's get started. So press get started. And now here is my Welcome to Flickr page. So um, make sure you do have a name here, a first and last name that I'm going to recognize, or you're going to have to email me and let me know. And make sure the username is something uh, more importantly, actually. So make sure the username is something that I'm going to recognize. Uh, otherwise, I won't know who to give the marks to for this assignment. So do make sure the username is something that com combines your name, or at least you tell me who you are so that we can find it. So when you see that, just go ahead and make sure it's all correct. Make sure your username is something that I'll recognize and click next. And now it says you can connect with Facebook if you want. If you don't want to do that, ignore it and just click take me to Flickr. And now it's open. So there's going to be some mail for you saying welcome to Flickr. That's up here in the top corner. This little thing is your mail icon. Uh, if you want to upload photos, uh, sometimes you'll get a message that says, hey, let's get started, upload some photos. If not, just go to you and then photo stream and that's where you put your photos click on photo stream and it says put 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 running empty upload some photos so I'm gonna go ahead and upload some photos and it tells me choose photos so it's as easy as dragging and dropping so remember for your assignment you have to give me six photos uh, you should enhance them crop them as needed and then save them as JPEG so once you've got those six ready to go in a folder somewhere you can just go ahead and drag them into here so I'm going to find the photos that I did and just put some of those up. So remember, if you hold down the command key as you select pictures, you can uh, go ahead and add those. So I can just drag those onto the, the uh, web page and they should pop up. There they are. So they're ready to go. All I have to do is go to the right hand and say upload six photos. And now they're going to upload. Upload and you have a choice to make them public or not. I'm going to say sure. Go ahead and upload those. So just an important note, you cannot upload raw files. Um, they have to be uh, JPEGs or some other common format. So do make sure you save your photos after you finish fixing them as JPEGs and they'll be much easier to upload. So there you go. Now my images are uploaded that I took today. And now if I want to share them in the DC Broadcasting Group, because you have to take one of those photos that you like the best and you have to share it with the DC Broadcasting Groups too. So to do that, you go up to the top here where it says Groups and Search Groups. So just click on that search for DC Broadcasting, just like the way I use it in other websites. Click search. It should come up as the top item because you've spelled it all correctly. And there it is. So click on that. There's the group. And now you have to choose to join group. So just click where it says join group. It's going to send me an email. And then I'm going to go ahead and approve you because I'm the administrator. And then you should get an email. Uh, telling you that you're joined the group and then you can upload your photos. So it's going to say join group. You can leave a message to say, hey, 
fill. Let me in, dude. And send that to me. So I'll get that. And check your email. Again, your email will pop in up here. You may get it into your actual email if you've set up your email with that Yahoo one. Or, or just check up here in the little camera icon. That's where you'll get your mail. And then once you get approval to add photos, uh, you'll notice that you can add the photo. So let me go off approve my fake self and then I'll get you joined up here. Hang on. Okay, so let's assume you've uh, been approved to join now. You should get an email in your regular Yahoo, Yahoo email or up in the Flickr email here, you'll get a message saying that you've been approved. So now when you go to groups, just click on groups, select groups list, and you should see DC Broadcasting there. There it is saying you are now a member. So click on that. And now you'll see there should be some photos there and you'll have the option to add photos. So just click add photos. Your own selection of images will come up. So just click on the one that you want to submit to the group. Um, it should be your best shot. So I did ask you to submit six to your own Flickr page, but just give me your very best of the day uh, for the Flickr pool and all those photos uh, we're going to people were going to have a chance to look at them and uh, and if you like them you can favorite them and then the the one with the most favorites will win the ten dollar Tim Tim Hortons card so just choose the one you think that you like the best and go ahead and click on here to add it to the group and it should show up there so now that photo has been added as well um, so when you see photos that come up there you can click on them you can make them bigger, you can scroll through them, uh, find the ones you like. Um, if you expand them, you can make them full page. And you'll notice down here there's a, a comment box and a little star box. So that star, if you click on that, I can't do it because it's my own photo. But if you click on that, that's going to favorite the photo and say that it's one that you like. So go through all the photos once they've all been uploaded from all three of the photography classes in our first year of broadcasting. And the one that gets the most uh, likes, if you if you prefer to call it that way, or their most favorites, uh, the photo that that gets the most votes really will be the one that gets the ten dollar Tim's card for its creator. So upload your best photo and give it your best shot, and everyone will get a vote. And then if yours is the one that's liked the most, then you'll get the ten dollar Tim's card. Good luck.